He was to meet a very, very game lady indeed. Hello. Irene here suffers from a very little known disease called Johnson Syndrome. I first realised I had it about five years ago. And obviously recently it's been impossible for me to live at home. <laughs> it's okay. Carry on. Carry on. It leaves me very tired all the time and in constant need of care. Which is why here at Paddington they've actually set up this special intensive care unit. But intensive care is very expensive. Johnson's syndrome is debilitating and... Uh, highly infectious. And highly infectious. <laughs> Okay, fine. Well, I'll try and do what I can. It's impossible for me to operate if one's got the right figures. One way or the other. You promised me that I could have those figures. Well, as it seems to me, I need them. I need them now. All right, here they are. Well, I see they've added another section to the Sunday Times. Main asset of the company, quite a crook. I mean, the whole notion that the interest rates are going to remain static is... Uh, I want a white plate! <laughs> no, not this white plate, that white plate! I see, sir. No! <laughs> my plate, my plate, my plate! <laughs> Why don't you uh, have this plate, sir? No, 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 I want a white plate! Yes, yes, Exactly identical to his plate, sir. It is the same in every regard. It is. <laughs> I think, sir, is in danger of forfeiting his dindins altogether. It's <laughs> <laughs> made both of you very happy. May I suggest that you either eat off these white plates, or there will be no lunch at all. Yes, although I don't think you'll make a move, even if they did change, to be quite honest. But there's a lot riding on the whole credit squeeze all together. <laughs> Is there something wrong, sir? Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. The sauce! The sauce too hot, sir. Too cold? <laughs> what is the sauce, sir? You put it on the top of the meat! <laughs> you don't want the sauce on top of your sticks. sir. Look, look, sir, I'll, I'll scrape it off and put it on the side. I want some more! No. You put it on the peas now! <laughs> Either you eat up everything that is in front of you, or there will be no pudding for anyone. I don't want it. No pudding whatsoever. On the chips. There will be no creme brulee armagnac aux framboises for either of you. <laughs> I don't think they're going to beat inflation anyway. Not <laughs> while the dollar is still strengthening. So you aren't going to have a share issue at Malikair, then? <laughs> what about you at Cowngate? <laughs> the Lancashire mining town of Hattersfield. Population 7,000. Terry Chipper is 35. He has been unemployed for 43 years. <laughs> he has to survive on three old pence a week. It's the time. It hangs heavy on you, you know. Sometimes it hardly seems worth getting out of bed in the morning. There's nothing to do. You spend all day hanging around the house, getting in the wife's way. Just the two of us. And the 37 children, of course. <laughs> well, you do what you can, you know. You fill in job application forms and take them down to Old Centre. But there was only one job available last month. That was as an application form sorted down at the job centre. That's seven pounds in applications and they gave it to a southerner. Things are different in Upper Flymo in Buckinghamshire. The grass is definitely greener for those in the prosperous south. Daisy has been a fully employed cow all her life. She owns her own field and her take-home pay is 30,000 a year plus overtime and 
she takes regular holidays in the Algarve. Daisy and Terry have agreed to take part in an experiment. For the next two weeks, they are going to swap places. The chippers are frankly surprised by the quality of life as led by an average southern cow. Look at that! It's a shed! Oh, it's a lovely... Hi! It's a bit of all right, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that grass and all. Oh. They're not short of a bit of space, are they? Yeah. Meanwhile, back in Hattersfield, Daisy was not finding it easy. After <laughs> Pontypridd's light and prosperous Buckinghamshire, the cramped chipper environment was proving difficult to adjust to. And Terry... Well, I'm nervous, you know, but I'm, I'm just pleased to be back doing something. <laughs> 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 It feels right odd, this southern work. Takes quite a bit of getting used to. Oh, the thousands of my mates back in Hattersfield will give me right. What are we doing what I'm doing now? Down at the non-working men's club, our southerner is discovering the reality of life on the scrap heap. In a rash moment, Daisy blows her entire year's benefit on a gallon of Maccasin. Well, things have to go back again after two weeks is over. There's no doubt it's better down here. No doubt. I mean, we had a spot of bother when after and kids were taken away to Knacker's Yard, but we can't. We did it. I, I feel... I feel I'm as good as these lassies. I do. You know, I mean, I, I can chew the cud. I can, I can scratch me back on a thorn bush. I can lie down in a cow pad. <sighs> and it's better than doing now, isn't it? Are you all right? I think I'm in love. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah? No. <laughs> what are the symptoms? Oh, I, I find myself sitting, staring into space for hours on an end. I can't concentrate on anything, you know. Yeah, but what are the symptoms of being in love? <laughs> I mean, you're like that all the time, aren't you? No, I mean, you know what it's like. You know what it's like, you get the old hot and cold flushes and, uh, you know, your heart skips a beat and, yeah. you know, the fluttering feeling inside your stomach, it's, you know, you know well, you, you must have been through it. <laughs> yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> when was the last time? Oh, when I, when I worked down the slaughterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I dropped a cattle prod down me Wellington boot. You know, give me a shot. I was all hot and fl no, flushing. Yeah, well, you went. Like I'm talking about love, I'm talking oh, about love, love, love mate. Yeah. Oh, I wish you could see her. She's, yeah. she's such a beautiful young thing. She's she? Oh, how do you mean young? Well, she's 17. 17? <laughs> yeah, well, well, she looks 17. I mean, you can't sell these days, can you? No. To be quite honest. I'm, I mean, she could be 36. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't care. I no. don't care. So when I hear her name, mate, it's like a thousand violins shimmering across the, the clear blue waters of the Aegean. Yeah. And what is her name? Tony. <laughs> That's a bloke's name, isn't it? No, Tony. It's an abbreviation. It's oh. Tony for short. Oh, what is it for long, then? Uh, Anthony. <laughs> There's music to my ears, her name. Yeah. Tony, Tony. Tony, Tony. Yeah. I've got it bad, haven't I? You've got it terrible, what yeah. a sound of it, yeah. You, yeah, you do, you do, you do soppy things when you're you in do, love. Yeah, don't you do, yeah. You know, walking in the rain, right, and yeah. wishing on a star, yeah, and throwing a cat in the canal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a soppy thing. Well, it was when we dragged it out, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Do you, know, do you, know, do you know, what I found? You know what I found myself doing the other day? What is that? Right? I found myself writing a poem. A poem? I did. <laughs> you did. Did you go? Yeah. Go on. How'd it go then? No. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. How'd it go? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right then, OK. Yeah, yeah. There was an old man of Darjeeling <laughs> whose todger strapped up to the ceiling. <laughs> it said on the door, don't spit on the floor, so he carefully spat on my Tony. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got it bad, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> I mean, uh, tell me, uh, are you thinking of tying the knot? Mm, well, I don't think it's because we might want babies later, so... Uh, <laughs> 
you are going to get married then. Oh, I think in all in all in all in due course. But yeah. you see, at the moment, we've both been through very stressful, yeah. very traumatic periods. Yeah. I mean, I've, well, I've been through the divorce with Sharon. That's right. You yeah. know, getting custody of your kids and everything. Yeah. And, and what about Tony? Well, she's been taking her GCSEs, so yeah. it's. Yeah. <laughs> it's been, yeah. I mean, I mean, far, far, far be it for me to say. What? What, what? 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 I mean, it's none of my business. But what? But, uh, what's she like in bed? Well, can I describe the sun, the moon and the stars all rolled into one? I doubt it. <laughs> I mean, uh, you've got to think, you see. I mean, listen, can I, can I speak to you as one intelligent human being to another? <laughs> well, you can give it a whirl, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, what was it, only three weeks ago, right? Yeah. yeah I mean, you was head over heels in love with that trampoline artist, weren't you? Well, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, are you sure this is not just happening on the rebound? No, I'm in love. I'm, I'm in love with her. Well, you've got to see it from her point of view. I mean, you're old enough to be her old man, aren't you? I mean, what, what are you trying to say? This. Look at it. You know, she's 17, right? She's yeah. a young, she's an impressionable young girl, yeah. right? She's not known. She doesn't know what's going on in the world. Right. Yeah, right. right. And along comes an older, cleverer, more mature, sophisticated man and turns her head. Well, so? Well, it could happen. <laughs> Yes, during the last post office strike, it is our contention that the British public were behind us uh, 100%. Well, we didn't get one letter of complaint. <laughs> Scotch on the rocks, please. any comments on that we'd like to hear from you here on wildlife world but now it's time to link up once more with andrew who's out there deep in the heart of darkest wiltshire are you there andy that i am jim back for another live session with our old friend the badger and i've been joined today by the badger expert and a bit of a country character ben truckle Ben, yes. God, those midges aren't too particular. Off the cobs. Here, and there's a wonderful smell of wood mulch all around. It smells like squirrel's piss to me. You never seen a wearing a toy? I thought we was on radio. It, at, at the moment, through the dusk light, we are looking down into a kind of hollow which contains the badger's set. Badgers? Yes. <sighs> What? Gassed a lot of them, I say. <laughs> Nasty vermin. Ah. Right. Uh, yeah, and... Is that a chaffinch, Ben? Well, I think it is. And then there on the left, there's a beautiful haze of bluebell underneath the trees. It's a crocodile. <laughs> not a chaffinch, it's a crocodile. It is. As I was saying, there's a beautiful haze of bluebells. Underneath the trees. I was only kidding. Which is probably why they call it wood. No, they don't. But getting back to the badgers, they call it crocodile wood. <laughs> it's very rare to see a badger during the daylight hours. There's one. <laughs> There's one over there. Oh. Look, a badger. It's a big one and all. Well, I don't see it. Look over there, boy, that tree. Must be about. Oh, six foot tall. What? Oh, no. Oh, no, he's on his own legs. You know what that means, don't you? No, I don't. It means he's going to attack. Yes, sir. Here he comes. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Yes, he is a big one, all right. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh no, I think he's seen us. Boom, boom. He's yeah. seen us. Oh, my God. You better run away and I want you to. Boom. You have to tackle me, Mr. Badger. <laughs> I think he's going away now. Oh, he's not, not, not. Ben. 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 Well. Our guest, Ben Truckle, seems to have been attacked and killed by a giant badger. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> well, there we are, Ben. Ah. We thought we'd lost you, Ben. No, I was only pretending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, no. What is it? Oh, it's all right. It's just another crocodile, thank God. <laughs> Good. Well, well, we think it may be drug-related, sir. One of the most encouraging things about this series is the number of viewers' letters that we've been receiving. Yes, it's, it's certainly encouraging to know that at least some of our audience can write. Indeed, isn't it? it is. Yeah, yeah, one way or another. There's a fantastic letter here, which I've got from uh, Mr. Simmons, or perhaps I should say Sergeant Simmons, who says, uh, Dear Mel, something hilarious happened to me. We were meant to be going on TA manoeuvres to Catterick in Yorkshire, but instead we went to Kettering in the Midlands by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should put this in one of your skits. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, we're chock a block with hilarious material for this series, but we'll happily pass it on to John Sessions, who I'm sure will be able to weave half an hour's worth of comic magic out of that idea. Anyway, this is one I actually like very, very much indeed. Um, it's from Mike Lance in Brighton. To Mel and Griff, me, me and my mates have been laughing so much at your shows that now my dad makes us watch it in the garage. Well, oh my, I must say that it's yeah, very that, nice. That's garage, isn't it? If... <laughs> Sorry, what? It's not garage, it's garage. <laughs> well, how do you know what the kid speaks like? <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter what he speaks like. I mean, the word is garage, not garage. Well, I say garage. Yes, I know you do. You're wrong. <laughs> Says who? Says you. Oh, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Come along. Give us an old blast on your old says who. I said, come, no, no, no. Pardon? No, I think I can manage to get the garage in the carriage. <laughs> are, you, are you implying that I speak like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's not a million miles away, is it? What? <laughs> are you are you saying that I speak badly? No. <laughs> it's only certain words. Which words? The words you speak. And some I, of the words you don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> so so I speak Chiswick. Yes, you speak Chiswick Common. Oh. <laughs> you speak Epping Forest. Oh. You no, I, I speak a received standard pronunciation. True, I see, received mm. standard <laughs> pronunciation. <laughs> so you're saying that uh, you're right and I'm wrong. Yes. Yeah. That's true. That's terrific. 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 Look, terrific, 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 terrific. Mel, don't get upset about it. I wouldn't worry about it. You're no different from millions of people in this country who can't speak their own language properly. Like whom? Well, I don't know. Like northerners. <laughs> northerners? What? Yes. What? All, all northerners? Yes, all northerners, yes. Well, I like the way northerners speak, as it happens. Oh, as, as it happens. It's very often daily. <laughs> I do, I do. I, 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 I like the way Northerners speak. Hey, up, father, I've run your back. I love that. No, it's lovely. Fine. It's charming and completely wrong. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about South Yorkshire now, I must say. Look, come on. Would you, would, Mel, would you like, would you like me, would you like me to teach you how to speak properly? Would you? Yes, I will. Look, because I, I, I have to have a few marbles in my pocket here. Oh, isn't that funny? And there was me thinking you'd lost them. <laughs> So, uh, now, you just stick a few of those in your mouth. Go on, now, now, right, OK, you've got them there. Right, OK, right. now say, how now, brown cow? Frow... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I can't, I no, can't yeah. do it. Would you, would you... Yes, do you mind showing me how to do it? Just put a few in, like, yes, like, like, like this. Look, I see, up, I see the white, white. No, 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 there's one of Because you've got quite a big mouth. No, I don't want that mouth. Perfect. You know, I could... I could listen to him like that all night. I think what I'm talking about, what will you go? Still away, we'll take away the law of a carrier. She quicker. What could you go? Wait that you go out in the week. Narasa, Narasa Fima, Narasa Fima. Equa, the cluetty tabard for quick, 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 quick,
起来，王大柱，给我干了，不干你家，走，去站着，我也不打，别搞，给你搞了，没路，我得去搞一，咋了？土狗跟你开拉大搞，来比比谁，搞。ตุ๊กตาเลยมาดิกว่าก็ดีใจตัวสติงเงินเบสิจีเนปโตลมากิจูกันนะคือควายเจ้าเลยเขาสติกิโอวิโตควายตัวกีดาสุกิจูบุจ
<laughs> You're a mess, Hera. You can't blame your husband for playing around. After all, he's in great shape. In fact, several great shape. Listen to me, Aphrodite. And listen to me, good. Your lies are not about to destroy my marriage. Oh, it's nice, you. Education. Who should teach our children? What should they teach? Should teachers earn more? Should they work harder? Should they wear those little leather patches on their elbows? What do we think? I've uh, been a teacher, as you probably know. Yes, yes, yeah, we probably do. Five yeah. years, I taught children in a deprived area. Yes, well, they would be and deprived if you were teaching them, darling. Look, I do take offence at no, oh, no, that. No, no, I no, do. It's all right. I'm sorry, right. sorry right. he was only it's it's just joking. Right. I, I hear. Say, I hear what. Yes, I hear what you're saying, darling, because you're screeching at me again. <laughs> what I'm saying is that teachers are to blame. They're not stretching the kids enough. I know, but you can't put little children on the rack. But, well, why on earth not? It never did me any harm. I mean, when I was a scum good fish of fetters, I was regularly tortured by the people. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'll tell you what you expect from somebody who's been one of these elitist uh, public no. school... Well, well, you would have servants running yeah, around fags. after you. Fags, you mean? Fags, that's right, <laughs> yeah. fags. I think at my school, a fag was something you had behind the bicycle shed. Yeah, that was true at my school as well. Yeah. This government wants to create a yeah. nation of automatons. Oh, oh sure. Sure. Yeah. Please, can I interrupt there? Because this is very interesting. So, so, well, so carry on. Go on. Yeah. 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 I went. Shut up. I went to the University of Life. Did you? I, I applied to the University of Life. And they never wrote back. No. no what? I'm, there we go. <laughs> you, know, you know, there are kids now coming out of the University of Telford yeah. with, with honours degrees in finger painting. And I tell you, I, my reasons why there is all this sex education. That's absolutely Now, what right. is yes. it all about? Well, evidently, the man puts his thingy inside the lady. <laughs> I know, I know that, I know that. Yes, but without it, how are we going to understand the plight of the single gay couple living in a high-rise flat in Hackney? Who cares? <laughs> but I mean, is it really necessary to teach our children that homosexuality is a good thing? Mm. Surely they can find it out for themselves. <laughs> I said it, I interviewed it. I interviewed a young fellow in lab the other day, right? Yeah, and he yeah. didn't know that there was a B in the word doubt. Oh dear. No, 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 and he's yeah. been to Oxford University. This is year. there a B in well, doubt? Yes, there is. Oh, where, where, where about this? After the U. Yes, but I mean, surely it's all down to Latin, isn't it? Oh, yes, absolutely. There's no dubot about it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all very well talking about dead languages like Latin. Yes. The reality is that the kids in our area are having to study Urdu. I think that's so important. Well, only if you're going to be an Urdresser. I mean, <laughs> Well, if, I could, if I could just sum up yeah. then, I mean, what we feel basically is that we've learned nothing from our teachers, that educational standards have, uh, you know, uh, something amusing you, Martin? What? Well, wipe that silly grin. I wasn't grinning. <laughs> Come on now. It wasn't funny. me. It wasn't me. This engine has gone again. Wasn't it amusing? Wasn't it just then? They made us chop. Ho, ho, ho. With the television show. They got us by our funny boat. Well, you are one hour ago. They made us happy, they made us grin, so we won. If you've been tuning in, 